The next set of closures for Purple Line construction are set to go into effect as early as Monday on the east side. WRTV's Adam Schumes checked in with nearby business owners to learn more about the impact of this new line and the construction. Business owners along East 38th Street tell me with the next set of major Purple Line closures expect to go into effect on Monday. They said they're prepared for any sort of challenges that may come in with those road closures. The next major Purple Line closure is expected to last 130 days on 38th Street between Keystone and Emerson Avenue. One eastbound lane will remain open. Westbound lanes will be closed between Keystone and Emerson. Indigo just wrapped up its first big closure for the project on 38th Street to Fall Creek Parkway to Keystone Avenue. We have to be on bus lines. Our clients use the bus systems. So actually long term, it's probably a great benefit to those that we do serve. Andrew Martinez is the vice president of communications and development for Firefly Children and Family Alliance. One of their facilities is located off of East 38th Street and will be directly impacted by the new closure. But Martinez believes while in the short term, the closure will impact those who rely on their services. In the long run, the Purple Line will be a major asset for them. Transportation is a huge hindrance to, you know, um, marginalized communities. And so if it brings value and it in, in, um, speaks to the challenges around transportation, then we're absolutely supportive of that. We have to be. Working for you, Adam Schumes, WRTV. The Purple Line will connect riders from downtown Indianapolis to Lawrence. Construction is expected to take two years and it's scheduled to open in 2024.